Hey everybody, it is Christopher Not Walking. Welcome to the Dirty Nerdy Show. And today we have a very special guest. It's the Dapper Dog Man from the Dapper Tapper. He's an ASM artist. He's he's coming up and we're super excited to have him. We also have El Bell ASMR because El Bell is like his biggest fan. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, it started out with me being her biggest fan, and uh, look at this now. Yeah, uh, just to give a little backstory, what had happened was um, I interviewed Elle, so that video came up, and you guys have already seen that now. It's been out for a while now. And uh, yeah, so she came into my Discord, met Dapper, she started her own Discord, and then, you know, we all sort of like became like, like a little like click, like we're friends now. And uh, Dapper came in today to do his interview, and I was like, "L, oh, you, you want to come do this with me?" And, and you said, "Yeah." I said, "Sure. Why? Why not? Let's do it." Yeah, enthusiasm. I like it. Yeah. So, how'd you get into ASMR, dude? Oh wow, uh, that's a long one. But uh, I always struggled with insomnia, um, and eventually I got tired of just like staying up until three to pass out. So I started looking into, like, lucid dreaming and sleep hypnosis and shit and uh, came across this great channel uh, run by a lady called Jody Whitley or Whiteley. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and she was always whispering. And I didn't know why I found that soothing. Like, it was really relaxing. Um, and one day she dropped a video and she was, like, explaining why she always whispered in her videos. And she said that it's just in case it triggers this thing called ASMR. And I was like, yo, let me cop them joints real quick. Let me check that out. Um, so I went and I checked it out. I looked it up. And uh, immediately I just fell in love with it. You know, it's, it's these people and they're, they're whispering and they're tapping on stuff. And I, I didn't get it at first because I didn't get the tingles. Yeah. But as I started to nestle in, I understood more and more how it's for not only sleep, but, you know, depression, anxiety, uh, for people who are just tired and just need to, you know, they need to relax for stress. It's this great community of people that just helps you to chill. You know, it just helps bring all your levels down, bring you to a place of, of real calm. And I just loved it. And th <laughs> that's basically it. But, yeah, pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, I just, I, I love hearing everyone's story when, when they first, like, discover it. And I I'm glad that it's it's helped you. And, uh, so who are some of your favorites? Oh, that's a tough one. No um, pressure. No pressure to present company <laughs> included, you know? Um, oh, no, yeah, hey. I, I would, <laughs> I would definitely say Al is up there. Um, top five, possibly even top three. Oh, okay. Um, I think my favorite artist due to just the sheer production quality and creativity of his work would be Ephemeral Rift. Rift. Oh, he's he's, yeah. he's a very he's really prominent good. figure in the community, and with good reason. He's a great guy. Um, second, uh, I'd probably have to give that to uh, Lisa, Indigo Stars. She is really cool as well. Also got great production value and amazing characters. Um, some of the best vampire portrayals that I've seen from anybody. Um, yeah, Elle's probably third place. I struggle to bring anybody else to mind that's quite as good what a she liar does. it's he's not only saying this he's only saying this because i'm in this chat room no pressure. no Quit never a gentleman <laughs> never lies okay uh -huh. i'm telling the the whole truth and nothing but the truth um but you honestly do some of my favorite like psycho portrayal role plays out of anybody <laughs> like the the crazy characters are some of my favorites because they're so unpredictable yeah. Like, with, with some people, you can predict what they're going to say next. And um, I, I don't know if I... Well, I, I wouldn't have mentioned this to either of you, but one of my sort of biggest triggers is uh, anticipatory triggers. So when you're expecting something, but you don't know if you're right or if you're wrong, and with characters like your psycho characters, it's hard to predict what they're going to say next. So <laughs> there's a lot of, you know, oh, she's going to say this. Oh, wait, no, she really switched it up. She said that instead. And that really throws me through a loop because it keeps me on my toes and I get a lot of anticipatory triggers out of it. Oh, snap. See? <laughs> See? 
personal note, I'm not saying that just because you're here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see? We told you, L, you're dope. Um, but yeah, like, so tell me about, like, when you got, when you made the, when you made the, uh, the switch and you decided to, like, I'm going to do this. Like, what was, what was that for you? What did it? Um, well, I'd have to give credit to, uh, Indigo Stars on this one. Hey, Lisa. Um, <clears throat> yeah, if you're watching this, uh, thanks again. I've said this to her in person, but, uh, thanks again for really pushing me towards this. Cause, um, oof, sorry, it's a bit cold. Um, getting a bit of shivers. <laughs> um, I'd been watching from the sidelines for a while and I'd had some ideas, you know, I'd be around my room, I'd get stressed out, I'd start tapping on something reflexively, and I sort of went, you know what, I could probably make these videos too. Yeah. I might not get very big, but if I could help anybody, just one person, I would feel a lot better about myself. Because I've always felt like I'm not doing enough, you know, like, I take care of me, and that's, like, it. Like, hey. I didn't feel like that was, you know, the right thing to do. I felt like if I'm in this community of people to do nothing but help other people... I should try to contribute something back. And Lisa on her server had set up a role play and I made one of my old characters who's a vampire from back when I uh, used to play Vampire uh, the Masquerade. Yeah. Uh, Bloodlines, I think it was. I played a Nurse Feratu in one playthrough. Um, uh, so I made him as a character um, and it, it really brought back the nostalgia of role playing. And I used to do it on forums and tabletop games. Um, so I figured. Maybe it would translate well into video format. So I bought myself a cheap little microphone, uh, you know, and I, I got myself some video editing software that I had laying around. And I said, you know what, let's let's throw something together, see what the, the feedback is. And when I posted my first video, it didn't have the best audio. I didn't have the best consistency. It doesn't have any video. I still don't have a good enough uh, camera to do that stuff. But I got overwhelmingly positive feedback, and people were like, you should do more. And you just get that sort of rush of, like, endorphins or whatever. And you just feel so good. And you're like, yeah, yeah, I'll make another one. So I made a second one. And everybody's like, yo, you sh should totally keep doing this. So I did. And I hit a bit of a creative slump. I got a little bit stressed out in real life. But um, I came back. Um, that's around the time that I got invited to the, the Reddit server which then led me to meeting you, Chris. So it's about the time that we met. Um, but, but at that point, people kept pushing me, and they were like, you know, you should really keep going. I had some real-life friends um, find out about my, my Switch and what my channel content was, from gameplays um, to ASMR videos. They found out about it, and they were like, this is really weird. I don't understand it, but it makes me feel relaxed as fuck. You should keep going. So I, I even had real-life friends pushing me to really keep going with this content. Um, so, you know, I, I figured, well, there's a demand for it, and I set out to do something, and I'm doing it, so I don't see any reason to stop. Yeah, like, what is that like? It, and I feel like... I feel like Elle could probably speak a little bit to this, too. Um, what is that like for you? And Elle, jump in anytime you have a question. Um, what is that like for you when... You know, you're dealing with things and then, like, it gets, you know, daunting. But then, you like, you hear, like, all the overwhelming support. Like, how does that feel when, like, everybody's just, like... Because the ASMR community is very supportive. It's not competitive. It's not like... I, I was talking to Maddie Tingles and we were comparing it to the rap game because he's also a rapper. And um, that's a very competitive world and it's, like, night and day, he said. Mm. So how does that feel? Because <clears throat> ASMR is so supportive. What does it feel like to have that support behind you? Oh, um, well, like, for me, um, I get a lot of negativity, too. But typically, well, obviously, all the time, the positivity outweighs the negativity. So I feel like since that is such a thing, that the positivity always, no matter what, outweighs the negativity, it kind of keeps me filming and keeps me going. Because I guess... I mean, even if the negativity outweighed the positivity, I probably would film sometimes, but I wouldn't, like, have a desire to as much, I guess. Because, you know, you're going to get trampled in the comments. And I get trampled in the comments anyways, but I feel like it's 
now at, at my point where I've got I have so many people on my channel that oftentimes they'll just start fighting back for me so I don't even have to say anything and they kind of like get in comment wars it's pretty crazy yeah uh what about you Dapper um I've got to say that the feeling of having everybody behind you instead of against you is such a change from real life. Because in real life, everybody's trying to get ahead, you know, whether it's in the workplace or just, you know, everybody's scrambling to make their money and, you know, to, to push themselves for a better life. And a lot of the times people get trampled in that. So to make that switch from everybody striving to be better than one another to everybody wanting to support one another and, you know, like with you, you, you're doing this whole interview thing and you're getting everybody exposure and you've got people who collab with smaller artists and you've got people who give shout outs and they're like, yo, discovered this new dude today. He's really lit. You know, go check out his channel, go watch his videos. He's really good. He's an up and comer, you know, go support him. It's such a change and it's unbelievably overwhelming just to feel all that positivity. That's why I think everybody is like, wants to be negative all the time. It's so cool. Well, like that, that's the thing about the positivity. It, it's one thing about the ASMR community that is so true is the bigger, a lot of times, most of the bigger artists, um, you know, they don't separate themselves from the smaller artists. Or like for me, like I love discovering like smaller artists and I actually watch a lot of smaller artists. And it's cool when they comment back to you or like, you know, actually show that they care. And a lot of people in the ASMR community, like artists themselves, are pretty supportive of smaller people. I think that's really cool because you don't always, in like other aspects of YouTube, like vloggers or bigger channels or whatever, they typically don't talk to the smaller people. Like they, they think that they're above them or something. And I don't know. It's not really like that on ASMR. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. And 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 the big ASM artists, they don't realize that they're big. <laughs> oh, Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I'll try to tell me like, oh, I've only got twenty nine thousand subs. I'm like, yo. I don't feel like, I'm, but I don't like. I don't feel that. big. I don't feel like I am, and I think that's good. And I like that um, <clears throat> that I don't. And I don't think it would matter how many subscribers I have. I don't feel big because for me, like the, the biggest reason why I do ASMR is because it helps me. I know it helps other people too, which is awesome, and I love that so much. But it, it's all about, like, the stress reliever and stuff. And when I film ASMR videos, it gives me, like, time just to chill out, to, like, just not focus on anything else but just in that moment. And it's kind of like a peaceful moment. That's why when, like, I can't film one week, I get upset because I can't do that. Like, I struggle with anxiety, depression, insomnia, all that stuff. So I also think it's kind of cool because I can connect with other people that have the same issues as me or different ones than me and like kind of connect with other people that have problems in their life mentally and like help them reach out with them communicate with them and, and just kind of like come together as one community it i don't know i think it's pretty cool i like it so yeah it's a pretty great community yeah it is i tell you what <clears throat> dapper why don't you talk a little bit about how you met l because it's a funny story and i love the way you tell it Oh, God. Um, so this dumbass Chris <laughs> just joins the chat room one day. Um, oh, shit, I'm forgetting a little detail. Let me let me, let me take a couple steps back. All right, let's, let's rewind 24 hours in time. Uh, I was talking to a few people on Chris's Discord about Elle and about how she does these crazy psycho role plays and how she's doing, like, a sort of out-of-character psycho role play where she's, like answering a bunch of questions where people were like, yo, why do you do psycho videos? They're not popular. You're never going to get big. And in it, she sort of pointed out how that's totally wrong because her psycho role plays are the most viewed ones on her channel. Mm -hmm. Like, she's so down to earth, and it's inspiring to see somebody with, you know, 20, I don't know how many she was at, like 27,500, 28,000, something in that area. You know, it's inspiring to see somebody that big, who can stand up for themselves and doesn't have to resort to being snarky. She can be very factual about it. She seems really cool. Like, you know, she's a really cool artist. She seems somewhat new. Uh, so I wasn't sure if everybody was, you know, aware of who she was. And a lot of people in the chat room didn't know. So the next day, Chris joins the chat room and all of a sudden someone else pings in and I'm not looking at who it is. And Chris says, Hey everybody, I want you to meet Elbel. 
and I froze because I was like, <laughs> he didn't just say that name. And then I hear this speak, and I was like, um, w- wait, what? No. And then she starts talking, and, like, Chris is making all these jokes, and I'm like, you want to watch, dude? She's a psycho. And she asks me, she's like, have you ever watched my videos? And I'm like, well, yeah, I'm, like, a massive fan. Um, so, yeah, that, that's kind of how we met. Um, and then Chris, it, he kept, like, inviting her to join the chat room any time that I was in and she was online just to mess with me because, <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm such a big fan of her he, he content. He told me to DM you, so I did. Oh, God. Yeah, like, I just started getting direct messages, and I'm like, yo, this this famous person that I've been watching for, like, two weeks now and that I've already become a massive fan of is just talking to me one-on-one like I'm a normal person. It's what, funny because now we talk all the time. <laughs> what even is this? Like, you, you don't expect, like, you know a Robert Downey Jr. or, you know, a Benedict oh Cumberbatch gosh. to just be in your DMs talking to you so casually. Like, someone you look up to as a famous individual, you don't expect to just have normal, everyday conversations with them. You expect them to be talking it, to other celebrities. It makes me feel so weird <clears throat> and odd when people say that. And it makes me feel so weird <laughs> when people, like, think that way about me. Like, even in my comments, if I respond to some people, they're like, oh, my God, you just made my day or you just made my night because I can't believe you responded to me. And I'm like, I, I get how that feels because I followed other YouTubers that I loved so much. And when they respond to you, it's like euphoria. But I – it's so weird because I don't feel like anything. Like, I'm just a person. I don't <laughs> know. I don't get it. I do get it from their standpoint, but for me, it's weird. I don't know. I appreciate it, and I, I that's why I love them so much, and I appreciate them so much, because, I don't know, it's just cute. I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's cute. It's weird. It's like, I'm just like you. I'm no different. I just post videos on the internet, like, hi, my name's Noelle. <laughs> I'm so average, though. I don't know. Like, it's weird. Ain't nothing <laughs> average about you, fam. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess not now. No. Nah, not anymore. <laughs> that that point has passed. But Dapper, check it out. Um, thank you so much, man, for coming on the show. L, thank you so much for for uh coming in and being my my uh co-host today because I haven't had a co-host in a while, so it was really cool. Um. I really appreciate it, you guys. Uh, guys, don't forget to go subscribe to the Dapper Tapper. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, don't forget. While to... you're here, don't forget to subscribe to Chris if you haven't already. Thank you, thank you, guys. So yeah, much. go sub to Dapper Tapper. Yeah, everybody sub to everybody. Subscribe all around the table. Subs for everyone. Sub for. If you, you don't know who L Bell is, you need to get on that ship right now. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe to everybody. But, uh, guys, here's the thing. Uh, if you liked it, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. We have a Patreon button up there. And for one dollar, that's right, one dollar, you can just look at all of our videos early. You know what I'm saying? Early access. Get in there. Get that if you want to, of course. But, yeah, I'm Christopher Not Walking. That was L Bell ASMR, the Dapper Tapper. And, yeah. We will see you next time, guys. Thank you so much. We are out. Bye.